Professor Walsh. Indeed, it is I, Mr. Woffington, from your contemporary political theory class. The time? Unknown. The date? Unnecessary. The setting? FIU campus and anywhere this vehicle takes us. We are here on the absurd occasion to discuss Foucault and Butler's perception on what forces drive discipline and gender, respectively. In Foucault's work, we see the means of power and knowledge observed through historical events that provide for the system of discipline and the tools that attempt to keep it alive. In Butler's writing, we see the sources that create and manipulate sex and gender. In this surveillance, see, we will attempt to explore these theories. So, join me on this adventure as we explore. Carry on. Stop following me. No, stop following me. Wait, wait. Oh, you're the camera crew, of course, of course. We are here in an apparatus of education where we will determine the powers and knowledge work on discipline. Here we go. Well, hello, sir. Why don't you tell us where we can acquire some knowledge? Well, you, you don't have to be so rude, sir. Wait a minute. What, what is this? This is a ring. The ring of power, it says. Use the ring. Utilize it to create a surveillance of yourself. Indeed. You must use this ring of power to take us on the rest of our journey. I'm in my room. I'm in my gym clothes. This really is a ring of power. Well, as one of my disciplines of daily action is that I go to the gym. I go there to be strong and stay fit. As discussed before, the two dimensions of discipline are space and rank. Well, the space in which I conduct this discipline is I go to the gym. The rank is the number of reps I do and the amount of weight that I put up. In order to keep this discipline alive, there's a tool that we use called surveillance. And my form of surveillance is done through my dietary plan and my workout plan. Here we have my protein supplements and my daily vitamins of which I use to keep and increase the number of proteins that I take in my body. Here is my journal. I write down my workouts, the number of reps that I do, the amount of weight that I put up, which I can see my progress. This is my form of surveillance. This is the tool I use to make sure I succeed. Whoa. Whoa. Wow, this ring has incredible power. Anyway, I guess I'm in another one of these spaces of discipline. My room again, and uh, I'm about to start playing one of my favorite games. <laughs> well, you see, um, I am here to play this game, and I will not leave this room until I get the highest level, get the best gear, become the best player. That is the rank of this game until I become the best player. Of this game. Now, you see. This surveillance that is used to make sure that I comply with the rules of this game is there's an agreement. I accept the agreement, and then I can sign in. Once I'm in, I choose to play the game that I wish. Here we go. Now as this occurs, there's limits in the game. The game moderators that are created to make sure that we comply with the rules and that we create a safe atmosphere for the game we can play. This tool helps create a successful gameplay for the players and for the game. Position of knowledge is power. The students and people alike gather in places like this library or internet cafes and lock themselves up in rooms in order to focus. In these spaces, we read our textbooks, or better yet, go to Wikipedia sites to accumulate knowledge to acquire more power. The more power we focus on this acquired knowledge, the better the chance we have on doing on tests and paper. The better we do on these, the higher rank we are than other individuals. This scene creates a sense of discipline. People conform to this discipline for works on getting them a higher grade or furthermore, a higher rank. 
You see, normally in life, we perceive male and female's distinction to be, if you have one of these, or if you have one of these. Now, you see, they both do the same thing, which can bring about the confusion of gender. They both conduct electricity. Just, could this mean that man can do the same as a woman, or a woman has the same power as a man? Just as this conducts, as that does the same. We will further explore this matter. What is this? We are being watched. The tool of discipline is surveillance. Clearly, authority and power is at work. Well, what is this supposed to mean? We got the male, the female, and who knows what that. Suppose it will be this here. Now, am I still supposed to play standing up or do I sit down? Which, uh, uh. Every time I wear this ring, I am somehow or somewhere different. Anyway, on the analysis of Butler, on gender, I am a man. Biologically, I'm a man. By gender, I'm a man. Culturally, by the language I speak, the way I act, I am a man. I know I am a man. But if I am to dress different when I come out of the shower, or if I'm to put on a bathrobe, or if I would have worn this head towel, would that have counted me otherwise? Well, would my family have considered me a loony? Would they have considered me a jokester? way I take the orbit for what it does. It keeps me warm, keeps me dry, and it keeps me comfortable. Now, if I'm just doing such, keeping the orbit for its purpose, am I, I do not believe I am confusing the general, but I'm just surely following the purpose of the orbit and using it for myself. Therefore, I know I am a man, for I have continued and will always be a man. Hello, you. We are back, as we have seen some examples of discipline in my daily life, in the gym, in studies, or in video games. We have understood that the two dimensions that discipline enforces are space and range, and it does this through the tool of surveillance. Now, two historical events occurred, the Black Plague and the Great Confinement. Now, these diseases, the only way to deal with them was through separation and quarantine of the people disease spread of integration. Now, laws were made, curfews were set, authorities would go from house to house making sure that each person was clean and they weren't hiding any lepers or contaminated folk. Now you see, authorities were so surprised at the way this disciplinary system worked that they redreamt the state of play, not and not no longer for emergencies, but for normal day life in order to keep control. Thus, this system of discipline was created. We're back here on the analysis of Butler and to discover that the sources of gender, being of cultural language and biological sex, the same. Now this term, performativity, it is how actions repeated enough become routine. And as actions become routine, they become definition. We accept these definitions and live in this style and fashion. It's kind of similar to that saying that things are the way they are because they always have been. It's kind of the lines that performativity falls along. Because things have always been the way they are, and we continue to do them, this repeated action, performativity has succeeded in creating the general. Oh. Seems like my work here is done. I want to thank you for joining us on this epic journey. You know, next time, we'll another After I'm gone, your Earth will be free to live out its miserable span of existence as one of my satellites. And that's how it's going to be. Oh. Here we are. Oh, this is where I parked my car. Let's start running.